All right, the Farm Progress Show, the nation's largest outdoor farm show, is underway in Decatur. Companies from all over the world and our backyard are taking part. Haley Bickelhop is live with an announcement new this week. Hey, Haley. Hey there, John. Well, we are about a cornfield over from where we were at the drone zone earlier today, and now it's all time for tractors. Now, here we're here with John Deere, who made an announcement earlier today about, or earlier this week, excuse me, about B30, a higher blend of biodiesel. So, Miles Chiotti is here to talk to us about what B30 is and what it means for this tractor that's driving right behind us. So, hey there, Miles. We are about to see this tractor pull up. Tell me, what is B30 for those that don't know? Yeah, well, Haley, thanks for having us. Uh, we're excited we just made an announcement like you said this week that we have certified b30 30 percent biodiesel blend uh, for use in our tier 4 engines biodiesel is a fuel made from crops like soybeans that our customers grow and it's a really exciting opportunity for us as john deere to help our customers who grow the very crops that are used to make a fuel like biodiesel and use it in their own equipment and the feedback that we've gotten from customers while at the show including soybean farmers has been really positive yeah, positive. We just saw that go by. I mean, there's dust up in the air because it is driving pretty fast. Like we said, one of the more powerful tractors in the world. Um, tell me, I mean, what does this mean for the future of renewable fuels? Yeah, you know, certainly for us, renewable fuels is about helping provide additional demand for the crops that our customers grow. And we're looking at how we can help advocate for that across all modes of transportation. But we can also do things with our own equipment. Uh, before today, B20 was what was certified for use in our en engines, and we were comfortable with notching that up to B30, saying, hey, you can use more of this biodiesel that you grow the feedstock, the soybeans that are used to make it, and it's a cleaner fuel, um, and it's supporting farmers, and that's what we're excited about. Yeah, so they might be planting soybeans and they might also be running on soybeans. Is that right? That's absolutely right. And like you mentioned, we've got this 9RX tractor here at our Ride and Drive at Farm Progress show that's running on it. We've also got an X9 combine coming out of the East Moline Harvester Works factory running on B30 this week. So it's really exciting, really fun to do. Perfect. Well, thank you, Miles. And we're excited to continue more coverage in the 6 o'clock and the 10 o'clock shows tonight. We'll have more tractors to talk about and lots of powerful tools here at the Farm Progress show in Decatur. John. Haley, great news for the bite state. Thank you.